Hey guys, Dean here from Big Dog Builds. Today we've got a wicked looking brand new Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. These are definitely becoming more and more popular here in Australia. There's gonna be plenty of them on the road. I've got a wicked drive line, wicked engine. We can get the suspension dialed in to suit your needs with the van on the back. And these are proving to be a pretty cool tourer for Australia in 2023. This one here is a little bit different. We've kept it nice and low. We have gone wide, we've got big tires. What comes with that is a lot of trimming, a lot of modifying to get the wheels to turn inside the guards, but this thing looks wicked. It's got a two to three inch King's lift, super lift upper control arms. We've got the King shocks obviously with this lift here, the 2.5 remote res adjustable both front and rear. We've then done the full leaf spring upgrade to suit the canopy on the back. I'll get into that one in a second. Getting the 37 inch tires with only a two to three inch lift on this one's gonna be a pretty cool looking tourer. It's got the bronze methods, 20 by 10, neg 18 with the 37, 13 and a half BF muddies. So this thing looks amazing. It started off with an idea last year. Muzz got in touch. We planned out the full map theme for this one. So we've gone for a combination. We didn't know how far we we're gonna go, what mat parts we were gonna go on the side of this one. So we've decided with a textured black front bar from Off-Road Creative, which matches the full Off-Road Creative canopy, also in the textured black powder coat finish. This really matches the satin PPF from the girls at Slick As on the whole body of this vehicle as well. The matte theme, you've also got the color-coded door handles, the weather shields, the mirrors, and a few of the badges, which really sets this one off with the two-tone between the gloss and the matte. We've also gone that extra little effort. Off-Road Creative have put the bronze highlights that match the wheels into the canopy logos as well. So the bronze from these Method 305s looks wicked. Comment down below if you like the bronze wheels or if you would go black on black on black. The bronze wheels on this one I heard was the wife's choice. So what the wife wants, the wife gets. Definitely nailed it with this one. I would have chosen the bronze as well over the black wheels. I definitely think that this makes or breaks a vehicle. The Off-Road Creative canopy on the back of this one, Brad's definitely nailed it with the rest of the team there at Off-Road Creative for the full touring works. So down to every little finishing detail on these canopies. The chassis mount canopy saves a little bit of weight compared to some of the others on the market. He's got everything on board this one to tour comfortably around Australia. You've got the water on board, the full power setup, the kitchen, the drawers, the storage. It's definitely got everything you need and more. On top of the canopy, you've got the Almac boat loader, so he can put his tinny up on top. This is a great setup. The Almac been around for years. Simply plug in the Anderson plug power, use your remote control to get this one up on the roof. Nice and easy. Definitely part of the process there if you're choosing the off-road creative canopy. Get the boat loader installed at the same time. After you do a canopy, no matter what vehicle you get, we definitely recommend getting the leaf springs reset in the rear. So we work with a local company here some great feedback on this one. Getting the suspension dialed in, the weight of these leaf springs to suit the weight of the canopy. We've then gone and installed the airbag leaf helper kit as well. So this is the triple bellow leafs in the, uh, leaf helper kit in the back of this one. With the van on the back, you're able to use the wireless pressure control to up and down the pressure on these ones with the van on the back. Um, with just the canopy, you won't really need to run much air at all. What we like to do is set the vehicle up to not require the air. It's always there just in as assist. We double up the compressor on board with this one. So Off-Road Creative do the ARV twin compressor. We tap into that for the air pressure control for your up-down controls. We can also relocate your outlets to, to the front and rear of the vehicle as well. But having a nice neat setup inside the toolbox is definitely a must. The LED lighting on this one, the Off-Road Creative front bar has got the 30 inch steady light bar built in, as well as the two C4 cube LED lights as well. The team at Off-Road Creative have then gone and installed a second 30 inch light bar on top of the hoop on this one. Looks amazing, great output from this combination. We've then gone and done our signature big dog roof rack. So this is the V1 for the Chevy 2500. This is the V1 platform with the steady LED combo. So you've got the 50 inch steady curved LED light on the front with the built-in DRLs. This is a great output light. It'll give you both combination and distance as well. We've then gone and installed the steady work lights to the sides as well. All of this is controlled obviously through the Switch Pro switching unit. So you can dim down the work lights on the sides, 
You can turn the front light bars only triggered through when the high beam's triggered, so we keep it fully legal. This one's got our signature comms pack being the 1.2 metre cell fire whip with the Telstra cell fire go combo, as well as the 680 mil UHF antenna for the GME UHF XRS 370 combo pack. This one's got a Safety Dave camera that we've hooked up as well as the safety tires for the caravan um, tire pressure sensors. So these Chevys have got a few different combinations you can run. It is probably the best platform. If you haven't built the van yet, you can get the GM cameras installed on the back of the van. These plug into the back of the vehicle. You can do different TPMS ones for your caravan through these Chevys as well. They're definitely leading the market when it comes to trailer cameras. When you're turning your indicators on it, it shows the whole left or right hand side of the vehicle, whichever way you're turning. But this one's running the King Shocks, like I said. We've got a combination of different brands we can use for this two to three inch height. If you are wanting to go up above the three inch, you need to be in the NV2 truck category. And then we can go a little bit higher we're recommending the Cognito four inch kits for these slightly bigger um, lifts. This will clear 37 inch tires a lot better, but be mindful the difference between 35 inch tire, 37 inch tire is gonna use a lot more fuel, be a lot harder on the drive line all, all round. It definitely comes with its pros and cons for every, um, every option that you choose or yeah, run with or without. If you're looking at getting a Chevy, you've got one on order. I know a lot of people have been waiting for a long time. Definitely get in touch today. Let's get some parts ordered go over the full build you can go as simple or as complex as you want to go we can do custom paint here at big dog builds chrome deletes you've got your ppf wrap you've got yeah lots of different things ceramic coating and then all the usual air on board suspension wheels tires roof racks bar work you name it we can do it here at big dog builds if we don't do it in-house we can definitely work with some key companies around this area and get the whole thing done for you in one hit Get in touch today, guys. I look forward to having your Chevy 2500 here in Big Dog Builds in 2023.